teacher talk in sports here and yesterday's Bengals game was a long time coming for Cincinnati and their fans the Bengals win first playoff game in 31 years set the table for a t run at AFC titles from ESPN Send those text messages. Cincinnati Bengals have finally won a playoff game. Cincinnati defeated the Las Vegas Raiders 26-19 at Paul Brown Stadium, an AFC wildcard game on Saturday. It was Cincinnati's first playoff victory in 31 years since before cell phones were capable of sending texts as memes of the internet my folks in the days preceding the game. So, yes, the first time ever we've been able to send text messages after a Cincinnati Bengals win. Let's take a look at that game. It took place on January 6, 1991 against the Houston Oilers. Easy victory for the Bengals, 41-14. to Warren Moon was the Oilers starting quarterback at the time, but he was hurt. So Cody Carlson got the start. How many of you remember Cody Carlson? Uh, Sam Weish was the Bengals head coach. As we can see the scoring, Icky Woods, famous for the hick Icky Shuffle, got the scoring going. Uh, Harold Green caught a touchdown pass from Boomer Esiason. Eric Ball ran one in. Boomer Esiason ran one in. And Eric Katis had a nine-yard pass from Boomer Esiason. So Boomer had two touchdown throws and a touchdown run in the game. Now he's doing WFAN in New York. So let's take a look at some of the things that were going on the last time the Bengals won the Super Bowl. Uh, the United States president was this man here, George Bush. No, not George W. Bush, his son. This is the father, George Bush. Um, we This game here, Tecmo Super Bowl, arguably my favorite game of all time. This game hadn't even yet come out. This game came out on December 13th of 1991, so about 11 months after the Bengals' previous last playoff win prior to yesterday. So Tecmo Super Bowl, uh, those of you that are fans of this historic game, which is uh, still going on, still has its like cult following, 30 years ago, uh, this game still had yet to come out. Next, we got, yes, the Gulf War was going on. Um, Saddam Hussein... Uh, overtook Kuwait United States got involved that's what was going on with the United States look at the gas prices here uh, this is for uh, the United States For some reason it doesn't list the first two weeks of January 1991 but as you can see a third week January 21st about dollar 19 man but I have a few more dollars in my pockets if that was still the case our NFL MVP that season was a 34-year-old Joe Montana. The AL MVP was a 31-year-old Ricky Henderson. And Barry Bonds won the first of his seven MVP awards. Uh, he was 26 year old at the time playing for the Pirates long before he had all those PED allegations um, you know, brought against him. Here's a look at a 1991 car. This is a 1991 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. Looking nice, looking nice. Look at this television though. This is uh, came out in 1991. The Emerson kind of reminds me of like a microwave at least a, a little bit, but man, how TVs have changed. HD, what the heck is HD? That's what people thought at the time and Michael Jordan was yet to jo had yet to join Gatorade at the time. He was actually still with Coca-Cola, uh, not really remembered as much for being with Coca-Cola as he was later with Gatorade. So that's just some of the things that were going on the last time the Bengals won a playoff game. Congratulations to them. Of course, Joe Burrow had yet to even been born. Um, don't forget to subscribe guys like the video share the video hit the bell for notifications. I'm out